Oh, man. What's up, guys? Let's get into it. Sad news again. Ja Morant can't seem to learn what's going on. Can't seem to just keep it cool. So yesterday, you didn't see. Uh, we seen screenshots. Ja Morant again caught on Instagram Live holding a gun. Uh, you know, you can slow it down around the 13-second mark on the Instagram page. They're listening to NBA Youngboy new album. So you know it's current. You know, it's, it's not no fabricated false video is current you know nba albums nba young boys album just came out what uh this past friday a couple of days ago you know so uh we know it's current we know it's real and he flashed the gun again for some weird reason he can't seem to learn you know after him missing out on the all nba team due to probably his off the field things you know his, his numbers were pretty good from last year same as last year he needed an all NBA vote, uh, all NBA team selection for either one, two, or three. He didn't get either. I thought he could have got the third over. Um, I forgot what guard I thought. I did a reaction to it. I didn't ever post it, but uh, over Dane. Yeah, Dane missed time too. Dane was a third team point guard. I thought he could have got it over Dame. Uh, his numbers one is good, but he may, he played in more games than Dame. And his team obviously was better. The Grizzlies were the number two overall seed, so. I thought he had a shot there at getting the uh, the third team selection. But uh, as reported, uh, the reason why he didn't get it was most likely because his off the field issues. And he might be in more trouble coming soon. Uh, clearly, you know, his, his people he was riding with tried to save him and point the camera down fast as possible. But if you lo- use slow-mo, which people have already, it, been, it came out on most... Most platforms already, the, you, you can see him slow down around 13 second mark, him holding a gun, him brandishing a gun. So we'll see what happens. Uh, literally just is starting to get viral in the last hour or so. But most likely we might see some more punishment um, come down. And we knew it wasn't really, you know, the punishment that happened wasn't really that serious. Uh, missed a couple games. The Grizzlies still didn't you know they still played pretty well. And also he lost only a few endorsements, if if any. I think like one or two smaller ones. So we'll see what happens this time. But he clearly needs, you know, to stay off social media. Plain and simple. You can keep carrying your weapons, carry your guns, you know, stuff like that. That's fine. But be smart. Keep it off social media. Keep it off the, the, the mainstream because it makes no sense. You're worth all this money and you're flashing weapons knowing knowingly on social media, knowingly on live, it just doesn't make sense. So uh, people don't learn, you know, it, it, you don't learn for some reason, you know, we'll see what the Grizzlies do. We'll see what uh, commissioner Adam Silver does, you know, and I, I really think the the punishment for the Denver incident when he was in the strip club was definitely weird. You know, they couldn't prove it was his, they couldn't prove nothing, but you seen him holding it. So, you know, he got it in, in his possession. So, you know, it shouldn't really matter, but uh, we'll see if he escape. He escapes with minor things this time, with with, with minor uh, a, a slap on the wrist. But it's kind of troubling. You know, it's, it's troubling to see what he's into off the court. You know, like I said, people have their own things. You know, if if you're from the street, you're from the hood, no problem. People make it from there all the time, but you don't show it on social media. You, you don't show your activities on social media, you know. And the closest thing we really seen to this really was Paul Pierce and him being him being at that. But he was off. He was retired. He was with ESPN. You know, he lost his job. But you know, that's the closest thing we really seen. I can think of the last couple in the last what five ten years. You know, social media ha- hasn't really hurt players as much as we, you know, as much as we really think. You know, the I guess uh, the Nick Young D'Lo thing, that was a weird situation. But, you know, going on live and incriminating, incriminating yourself, you know, uh, is definitely something John Moran has been doing, you know, uh, for a while now. And even with the, the young kid incident, the, the him you know, beating up a young kid or something like that, playing ball at, uh, around his house or at, at his house, you know, it's just weird off the field stuff that can be ignored, that can be, can be stopped. You know, but he's for some reason choosing not to stop it. For some reason, he's keep keeping it going. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what the NBA and the Memphis Grizzlies do. Uh, do, but uh, yeah, he can't seem to stop hurting himself, and that's and that's some um, that's kind of kind of confusing. You know, uh, so we'll see where it is. But that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.
Oh, man. What's up, guys? Let's get into it. Sad news again. John ja Morant can't seem to learn what's going on. Can't seem to just keep it cool. So yesterday, you didn't see. Uh, we seen screenshots. John ja Morant again caught on Instagram Live holding a gun. Uh, you know, you can slow it down, run a 13-second mark. On the Instagram page, they're listening to NBA Youngboy new album, so you know it's current. You know it's, it's not no fabricated false video. It's current. You know NBA albums, NBA Youngboy's album just came out. What uh, this past Friday, a couple of days ago. You know, so uh, we know it's current. We know it's real, and he flashed the gun again for some weird reason. He can't seem to learn. You know, after him missing out on the All NBA team due to probably his off the field things you know his, his numbers were pretty good from last year same as last year it, he needed an all nba vote uh or all nba team's selection for either one two or three he didn't get either i thought he could have got the third over um i forgot what god i thought i did a reaction to it i didn't have a poster but uh over dame yeah dame missed time too dame was a 13 point guard i thought he could have got it over dame uh, his numbers weren't as good, but he made, he played in more games than Dame. And his team obviously w- was better. The Grizzlies were the number two overall seed, so I thought he had a shot there at getting the uh, the third team selection. But uh, as reported, uh, the reason why he didn't get it was most likely because his off the field issues, and he might be in m- more trouble coming soon. Uh, clearly, you know his his people he was riding with tried to save him and point the camera down fast as possible. But if you lo- use slow mo, which people have already, it been it came out on most most platforms already. That you you can see him slow down around thirteen second mark. Him holding a gun, him brandishing a gun. So we'll see what happens. Uh, literally just is starting to get viral in the last hour or so. But most likely we might see some more punishment um come down. And we knew it wasn't really, you know, the punishment that happened wasn't really that serious. Uh, missed a couple games. The Grizzlies still didn't you know they still played pretty well. And also he lost only a few endorsements, if if any. I think like one or two smaller ones. So we'll see what happens this time. But he clearly needs, you know, to stay off social media. Plain and simple. You can keep carrying your weapons, carry your guns, you know, stuff like that. That's fine. But be smart. Keep it off social media. Keep it off the, the the mainstream because it makes no sense. You're worth all this money, and you're flashing weapons knowing, knowingly on social media, knowingly on live. It just doesn't make sense. So uh, people don't learn. You know, he it, it, it don't learn for some reason. You know, we'll see what the Grizzlies do. We'll see what uh, Commissioner Adam Silver does. You know, and I, I really think the the punishment for the Denver incident when he was in the strip club was definitely weird. You know. They couldn't prove it was his. They couldn't prove nothing, but you seen him holding it. So you know he got it in, in his possession. So, you know, it shouldn't really matter. But uh, we'll see if he escape. He escapes with minor things this time, with, with, with minor uh, a, a slap on the wrist. But it's kind of troubling. You know, it's, it's troubling to see what he's into off the court. You know, like I said, people have their own things. You know, if, if you're from the street, you're from the hood, no problem. People make it from there all the time, but you don't show it on social media. You, you don't show your activities on social media, you know. And the closest thing we really seen to this really was Paul Pierce and him being him being at that. But he was off. He was retired. He was with ESPN. You know, he lost his job. But, you know, that's the closest thing we really seen I can think of the last couple in the last what five ten years you know social media ha- hasn't really hurt players as much as we you know as much as we really think you know the, the i guess uh the nick young d thing that was a weird situation but you know going on live and incriminating, incriminating yourself you know uh is definitely something java rand's been doing you know uh for a while now and even with the the young kid incident, the, the him you know beating up a young kid or something like that, playing ball at, uh, around his house or at, at his house, you know, it's just weird off the field stuff that can be ignored, it can be can be stopped, you know. But he's for some reason choosing not to stop it. For some reason, he's keep keeping it going. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what the NBA and the Memphis Grizzlies do uh, do. But uh, yeah, he can't seem to stop hurting himself, and that's and that's some um, that's kind of kind of confusing, you know. Uh, so we'll see where it is. But that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.